Hey guys, Jim Redditon here from Thinkaholics. We're here at Texas Dreamin'. I'm here with Dee and Francis from Fastforms. So guys, what can you tell everybody about what you guys do? Well, I mean, Fastforms is the first uh, Salesforce native form and survey builder, which means you know you basically build web forms that collect data into standard and custom Salesforce objects, um, and all with just clicks, so there's no code involved at all. So you can get up and running with a form or a survey in just about five minutes, essentially. Um, and, 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 and they're doing this from within Salesforce, yeah. uh, you know, admins just being able to configure? Totally. Okay. So, you know, the old school, think about the old school way of doing this, which is, uh, you know, you'd have a programmer build out a form, they'd have to code out this entire form, and then build an integration with Salesforce. Uh, and if you wanted to make any changes, you'd have to go right back to the programmer. Essentially, what you're doing here is you're empowering admins to do this in a declarative fashion versus programmatic fashion. So they are totally empowered to do all of this and customize this form, style it themselves because there's a bunch of style templates and get this out on their website. You don't really need a programmer for this. And the other version of this uh, that some of our competitors would do is like you'd have to like build a form out and then integrate it into Salesforce. But because we're native to Salesforce, you don't even really need to integrate it. It's all integrated for you. It takes on Salesforce validation. So it really is where Salesforce is growing, uh, going to, decla total declarative ways of doing things. And you know we've been declarative for about two years. So, so um, once I go in and create a form, um, does it just generate code that I've got to go put on a website? Yeah. Um, okay, so that, it's just generates, I paste it out there, and it knows how to talk to Salesforce. Basically, yeah, that's absolutely. it. So all of that is inbuilt within the application. You don't need to set up any of those connectors. Fastforms takes care of all of it for you. And we can work with any of the standard or custom objects, right? So there's no limitations there. You can also work with multiple objects within the same form, and Fastforms automatically takes care of your relationships and all of that stuff within Salesforce. So what would be an example of like a multi-object form? That, that's kind of interesting. So let's say if uh, you don't want to go through the lead conversion process, and you want to directly start off by capturing information about accounts, contacts, and opportunities, all within Salesforce nice. right off the bat. You can do that with fast forms by putting all of those objects within a single form and then just capturing all of that information at one time in one submission. So okay. it really makes all of that really easy. Okay. And um, so obviously, you know, this data just natively coming into Salesforce, um, if you add a field, right, you just click a button, get the code again, put it back on the website? You don't need to publish anything again on the website. So whenever oh, you make okay. a change in fast forms, you just hit publish. And that change is reflected on any forms that you have out in production. That's cool. If you have it on your website, if you have it hosted separately on Visual Force pages, no matter where it is, the change will take effect. And in terms of like styling the forms, you know, what do you guys have around that? It's all point and click. I mean, just the way you'd build a form with point and click, you can style point and click. Uh, and of course, you know, if you want it to be really branded and you want very specific elements, then you can write some custom CSS on a page. But for the most part, you know, just click, 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 it's styled, you can upload your logo and off it goes. And the really nice thing about it is you can deploy fast forms onto your website and it'll read the CSS on the page and just inherit it. Okay. So that's all. That was going to be one of my questions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that makes sense. Um, and in terms of mobile, right, like this being mobile friendly, you, I yeah. assume all that's... Yes. Yeah, yes. it's responsive. Out okay. of the box, you okay. know, it's uh, like no questions there. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys have anything for companies that need to deal with HIPAA data or, or anything like that? Yeah, definitely. We've got one version called Native Cloud, and true to its name, it's totally native to Salesforce. So the entire architecture is built right within your Salesforce org. So your data never leaves your Salesforce org. Uh, there is no third-party server, which makes it completely HIPAA compliant. Uh, and you can collect PHI and PII data. And we even treat customers that are native cloud very differently, which is, you know, our support does never really accesses their data. So we kind of walk it down in such a way that we don't access their data. And this is a way for us, uh, you know, to sort of adhere to HIPAA laws. Uh, it's a really cool product. We've got big enterprises and governments using it, and public sector is a big sort of like vertical for us with uh, native cloud. But what's some of the use cases you've seen uh, with people using, you know, these forms for HIPAA data? So one of the use cases, and this is a client of ours, they're a government agency in Australia, and uh, essentially they're collecting very sensitive information about children. Um, so you know that's that's one use case where they that agency has several forms that are deployed um, in different places, 
and they, they would need for these forms to generate this data so they, then the agency can action on that data. So that's one use case. Uh, clinical trials is another use case. Insurance information is another use case. Um, uh, Pharmace you know, pharmaceuticals, we have pharmaceutical clients that are using this to collect uh, P PHI data, yeah. so that's another use case. So I would say that's kind of the span of use cases that we've seen, um, and Native Cloud was in beta till quite recently, so I think the number of use cases that we're going to encounter even in the next 12 months is going to increase. Uh, you know, we're already talking to fintech companies about using this to collect financial data. So in Canada, it would be PIPEDA compliant, here it would be HIPAA compliant. So. Okay. All right, so people want to get their hands on and try it out, what should they do? Go to the App Exchange, search for Fast Forms, download the application either into your sandbox or your production org. You get a 30-day free trial. Uh, which is which is awesome because you can really accomplish quite a bit in 30 days. We also have incredible customer support. We're really known for our hands-on customer support. So if you have any questions, there's a green question mark within the application. Talk to your customer support. Get up and running uh, really quickly, and uh, we'll help you succeed. All right, guys. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah, thanks a lot. Hey, if you like our videos, please be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter.